Hey guys, Kins of Restricted coming at you. It is Wednesday. Ooh. And for me, Wednesday is no workout Wednesday. But this morning, I got up at 5 and did a mile on the elliptical. Um, which got me thinking. Okay, my elliptical, I see tons of people working on ellipticals, you know, on Facebook. And they're talking about being like Becca or Rebecca. I don't know why I call you Becca, even though I don't even know you. Um... <laughs> She was doing, like, resistance of 14. Okay, I don't know what machine you're using, girl, but my machine at home, if I put it on 14, I couldn't even push it that hard. I don't even think, uh, no. My weight alone couldn't push it that hard. Even if it, I don't even know that it goes up to resistance 14. So, um, for me, like, a 7 is really, I mean, I am pushing it. I mean, even on 0, I'm pushing it, so, I don't know. Uh, this week has been really, really strong. I have worked out twice, both Monday and Tuesday. I didn't do much over the weekend, uh, which is typical for me. But I did. This weekend I went and visited with Connie and Rosemary, and then I met Miss Summer. Uh, and we had such a good time. I learned so much from, really, Rosemary. Um, Connie... Uh, you know is new and she's definitely absorbing everything from her sister, which I think is amazing um, I kept saying typical I hate to say that but typical Mexican uh, my fiance is Mexican So, uh, you know half of my family who I see constantly is Mexican and they are so uh, It's just funny. I just kept saying they keep they kept feeding us uh, Now healthy things. <laughs> I mean it wasn't what I'm used to getting fit being getting being fed, but it was just so funny to me. Um, so that being said, uh, oh, also met Connie's husband, Alfred. So I look forward to, you know, seeing them more often. They're about 45 minutes, no, more like 30, 35 minutes from my house. So really, you know, close. That seems close to me. Uh, and Miss Summer lives about 15 to 20 minutes away. So my GPS took me a weird way to get to her house, which I won't go again. But, um, I've been making really strong, strong choices this week, feeling very, very motivated, and, um, I, oh my gosh, yesterday. So, for the first time ever in my life, did a little rain dance yesterday, I was sweating my butt off. Um, I really, really pushed myself yesterday to uh, work out harder than I ever have and I also I have a TV in the room that my ellipticals in but I've never like turned it on while I was working out and I did yesterday and I think it really really helped um, I put the volume of course on mute and just put the caption on and I was watching the biggest loser uh, that I have recorded on my DVR and I was listening to my iP iPod my iPod I wasn't listening to my phone um, but it really, really helped, and it was sort of a distraction, you know, which is nice because a lot of the times it's just me and my iPod and that screen. Does anybody else have screen issues watching, you know, the minutes tick by or the strides or the laps or, I mean, that makes your workout so hard. Um, my protein this week has been really, really good. I, I've been documenting what I eat, but I haven't really been calculating what I eat. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's, I know for me that if I take a picture of my food and I'm making healthy choices, I'm okay with it. Um, I know for some people they have to write down every single calorie and I just, I really know that if I start having to spend 20 minutes to figure out because that's how long it takes me because I'm slow as Christmas. You know, if I have to spend 20 minutes to put in all my foods, I have the Live Strong app, so it does help there, but I'm sort of nitpicky, and if it's not exactly right, then it irritates me. And I know that, like, on my app, it doesn't give me the option of, like, one-third of something. It's only, like, a half, a fourth, and two-thirds. So, I'm not eating that. I'm eating a third of something, so... I don't know, maybe I need to write to the app people and tell them they need a third on there for me. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Other than that, 
I've been making good choices. Now, my fill level. I don't know. I, I feel like I want my fill back. I know that when I went to my doctor, the week prior I had been um, like about to start my period, so my band was, oh my gosh, tight. I mean, not even being able to, well, yeah, not really being able to drink um, even like a protein shake. Couldn't keep it down. So I know that that's a concern, and I don't want to damage my stoma. I don't want to stretch it. I don't want to all of those bad things. I don't want to do any of that, and I don't want my band to slip because I'm vomiting. But these three weeks that I'm not, you know, on my period, I'm not feeling a lot of restriction. Um, another thing I'm struggling with is, you know, saying I'm done. You know, and, and in my head I know I'm done, but then I'm eat I'm continuing to eat. And part of me says, Well, I'm able to eat when before I wasn't able to eat when I had um my point two. I know it was point two that they took out. I mean, really? <sighs> it's agitating. Anyways, I ate a, a I, I'm not a big fruit eater, so this morning, um if you're following me on Facebook I took a picture. I ate a plum this morning. It's gone. But guess what's still here? Greek yogurt. I know I'm not going to be able to eat it. Um, I had the urge to open it and try to eat it, but I told myself that I don't have to. Um, I don't have to eat this. I had my tea and I had my plum. Not skinned, which um, is interesting to me because Prior to now, I've had a lot of problems with um, fruits that have a kind of like a skin, like grapes, plums, peaches, that sort of thing. And I sort of stopped eating them because that's the part of the fruit that I really like. Um, that's the part that makes me want to eat it. Like when you eat an apple, I want that crunch. And it's not even the crunch of the inside that's crunchy, it's the, the skin. I don't know. Y'all eat. You know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, so I might try to eat this yogurt later. I might not. Um, I haven't tried these Chibani. Chibani. I haven't tried any of these yet, but I love. I had a pomegranate yogurt when I was on vacation. On vacation. When we went shopping. And it was by Yoplait, I believe. And this um, is actually, you know, like a billion times better than the one I had. So I'm excited about that. Um, another thing, I know this is like a million things in one because I haven't made a video in forever, so I'm rambling. But, lap banders. Carbs? I, I don't remember ever being told how many carbs I was to have in a day. I mean, I'm looking at this, and just this alone has 21 carbohydrates in it. So... Where, I mean, what's the deal with carbs, people? Um, I know um, bypass people, you know, sleeve people are saying less than 20 in a day. Well, here's 20 plus. So, lap banders, let me know. Um, what's your doctor saying? And I'll definitely be asking my doctor. Oh, and tonight I am, usually I go to a Bible study on Wednesdays. That's like my thing. But tonight, I'm going to go to my first ever support group meeting. Um, it's being held at True Results um, in Richardson. So if you go, let me know. I mean, if you're out there, I'd love to meet you there. Um, but I've never been before, and so I don't know anything about it. So I might be making a video tonight, let y'all know. Yes, I'm touching my double chin because I want it to go away. Anyways, okay. I hope everybody has a wonderful Wednesday, and to all my WMS brothers and sisters, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Oh, wait. Bye. Okay, goodbye! Bye! I'm leaving Connie's house. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Talking. We had a good visit with Connie and Rosemary, and so now me and Summer, Summer. are driving back to the land of the gar. Garland. Woo! Woo. Huh. Hopefully we don't have traffic. What day is yeah. it? Sunday. Uh, so it's going to be back. The church crowd. The Christian church. folk. The Christian folk are going to be out. <laughs>